Hi YouTube, Vacuums4821 here, and today I've got a surprise. Well unfortunately it's not much of a surprise, you've probably read the title saying Shark Review. Uh, but nonetheless we're going to be reviewing the Shark Rocket Complete with Duo Clean that Shark have sent me free of charge to review. So, let's get on with it. Now what I will do is I will work left to right with the parts that I've taken out of the box and explain what you get and then we'll go into them with more depth in a moment. So you do get an upholstery brush style tool, which would be ideal for doing stairs, getting into those corners, them awkward little corners. It's not the softest brush in the world. So we will sort of put that to the test when we start reviewing the machine, see what surfaces it would be um, comfortable on, you know, you'd be comfortable on using it on really. Uh, you do get the main head which has got the duo clean technology. Now I will say this is the first Shark machine that I've ever used, let alone review. I have seen them in the past, and I'll be quite honest with you, I thought they were quite a cheaply made machine. However, this machine is quite surprising in the quality and the weight and the, the feel to it, so I will be really, really looking forward to getting this machine turned on, because this looks like it could be a real good contender against another cordless vacuum, even though it's corded. Um, <laughs> There's not many machines that are corded that match up to this particular machine. I mean, Shark may be onto something better because we all know that there is plenty more power in a corded machine than a cordless. That's a given. Um, so, I, you know, I mean, maybe some people would think the tests that I might want to perform, such as putting it against a Dyson V8 Absolute, for example, would be an unfair test. But I actually think that that's the sort of closest thing you're going to get power-wise and portability-wise to the Shark Rocket Complete. But on with this one anyway. You've got the Duo Clean floor head, which looks really fantastic. It's got some weight to it. It feels strong, sturdy. The front brush roll feels really soft. So I'm looking forward to using that, seeing that how that performs on hard floors, things like that. You've got the mini turbine tool, which is very, very similar looking to the Dyson V8 tool. You've then got the extension um, wand, I suppose you'd call it, with the power socket on each end. You've got a crevice tool. You get a bracket to mount it on the wall. Then you can of course see the machine itself with the cable. I believe the cable is eight meters long. I will double check that. And then you've got the various swing tags, the quick start for the motorized hand tool and the product manual. Now, initially looking at the machine, it's quite compact and small for a corded machine, and I like that fact. The only thing I've found so far that I don't like about the machine is that when it is on the wand, when you clip it onto the wand, it doesn't actually stand up in that position. You do have to put the machine onto the base for it to sit there like that. But let's look at it further. So for the bin, all you do is press these buttons, they release, and you just quick empty and all the dirt falls out, so that's nice and easy. You've got washable filters in the top here, so you've got one there and one there. So you've got the smaller one goes on the bottom and the bigger one goes on top, so you just click that in. Now the machine itself is quite light and it does feel fairly well built. It doesn't feel cheap and nasty, it feels nice with the rubber grip that it's got on the handle and one there as well. So it is quite a nice machine. You have got an LED on the front as well. So let's see how loud the machine is when it's turned on. I mean it's not that noisy, it's, it's a nice machine. So let's move on to the, uh, the turbo tool, the little motorised hand tool, as Sharp call it. That just clips on. It's actually very powerful and I can see that doing really well on the, the test with the stairs. Now the crevice tool and the brush tool, we spoke about them sort of briefly earlier, they do dock onto the back of the machine. That's not something I like with machines. Um, I've never been a fan of docking tools, especially on cylinders. Um, so obviously with this being a, you know, with this being a stick vac, a handheld as such, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But each to their own, you don't have to keep them on there, you could keep them in a cupboard or in the box or what have you. Now, this crevice tool is nice and uh, long and thin, which is probably the only time you'll say that long and thin is nice. Um, 
and that will get down the side of your well in your kitchens really if you've got a, a fridge that isn't built in you'll get down the side of your seats in the car you will get down the side of the sofa so that's quite a nice tool and you've got the brush as said not the softest brush in the world but not the hardest either I'd use it on the dashboard I'd use it on maybe top of the the uh, Virgin Media box but I wouldn't use it on a screen for example like you can with some of the dusting brushes the motorised head has got rubberized wheels so you're not going to damage any hard floors you've also got then the soft dual clean brush at the front and the hard red bristles on the brush roll now these are really firm which I'm really looking forward to seeing them used on the carpet to see if it grooms the carpet well and what we'll have to watch out for is how well it, it grooms the carpet and what it gets up now before we do any tests I am just going to have a quick vacuum of this carpet this will be the first time I've used a shark machine so I'm excited to find out how this actually performs so we'll flick it onto the carpet high spin brush roll now it is very powerful and as we can see it has got some dirt up now this carpet's vacuumed daily as you can imagine and as you can see there it's actually removed quite a bit of fluff which is quite a surprise from this carpet it's removed a little bit of rice cake which will be my little boy who's uh, 10 month old and getting into that stage of eating things but eating them everywhere um, and I'm quite shocked at how that little area it's, it's groomed that amount of dirt out that's quite surprising actually it's quite worrying given that my daily machine um, is quite a decent vacuum so I think the best thing to do now is let's get it in some different areas in the house and then let's get it through some tests. Now we'll try it on a hard floor and then we'll move to stairs and then we'll move to a softer surface. And we'll try it in position one this time which is for hard floors. Now comes my favourite part, the dreaded line of doom. Now what this consists of is some cocoa pops, some oats, and then we've been in Nigella Lawson's kitchen and we've got some flour. And then next we've got some dirt, grit and fluff. So let's see how this machine picks up on this test and let's see if it leans that dreaded line. didn't like that did it very very strong test to do this is this is to be fair one extreme uh, test for a machine so they they're not always going to pass this with flying colors now what we need to do is we can quite see from the bin that it's picked up a lot but let's see what's actually happened underneath and see if it's got any blockages it doesn't actually look to have any blockages in the machine <laughs> But what I want to know is, oh look at that, it has had a lot of dirt pass through the filters, so that does indicate to us that you would need to clean those quite often. So I would say the, the monthly clean that the filters need is not a, uh, you know, not a, something that they would recommend, but something that I think would be required. However, as said, it's a very strong test for the machine. It is a bit of a killer. Um, you can see there's a lot of dirt on this bit here where the dirt passes through. But that's something you could wash. 
So overall on that test, it didn't do terribly. On that particular test, we're going to give it three stars out of five. Now, after that test, I found that emptying the vacuum, it's performing absolutely fine again. And as said, that is an extreme test to push the machines to its limits to see if it does leave a line, uh, but more than anything, to see how quickly the machine would block and, you know, how powerful the machine is. So as said, that is quite a forceful test. However, I have discovered something I want to show you on this machine, which I, I've never seen this in another machine, and this is absolutely just unbelievable design. So this is the brush roll, which you would then pull up like this, right? And then you can see that it got, got a lot of things attached to it. Now look at this. There is a little hook with a sharp edge. I can't see, there's no blade in it, but a sharp edge that you can then run down the middle of the brush roll and clear off any dirt on the bristles. That to me is just unbelievably good design. Whoever thought of that idea is just, is clearly they're doing something right because you can just tidy that open and then that just sits back in there. And then I'm assuming you just literally just get this machine now, pop that down like that, and you are good to go straight away. That is a fantastic I've never seen that on any machine before, to be honest. So that mechanism is absolutely brilliant. Now, let's just recap on this machine. It's got a five-year guarantee. It's got the Duo Clean technology. You get the motorised hand tool. You get the brush tool, the crevice tool. And it is a really powerful machine. Now, I'm going to give this machine five stars. Now, the only thing on this machine that I thought could have been better would have been that the pickup when we did the uh, line of doom test is that it, the pickup it did block up and I did have to give the filter a shake and empty the machine however the reason I haven't knocked that down is it's very unlikely you are going to be cleaning that amount of dirt up in that small situation like I did there that is a real killer of a test to see how that would perform rather than me spending 25, 30 minutes cleaning the entire home. You know, and if you've got that much flour and cocoa pops and oats on your floor, then chances are you probably don't own a vacuum anyway. So yeah, that is a real killer of a test, but five stars this machine is getting. I am shocked at how well built it's made, how well thought out the machine is, and how powerful it is. I will definitely look forward to um, hearing back from Shark when they see this review. And, you know, I would love to think that in the future they will send me another machine to test because I would love to test one of their larger machines because if this is coming from such a small little machine from the rocket, then I, I dread to think how powerful their other units are. Very well thought of. And the brush roll, being able to clean it like that, is one of the best features I have ever seen on a vacuum. Combine that with the LED lights, the soft brush roll, the, the, the number one setting for doing your hard floors, and you've got yourself a fantastic all-round cleaner. Now, if you enjoyed this review, which I'm hoping you did, then I would love for you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, I will be leaving a link in the description. I'm starting a Facebook page, which will have written reviews of the machines. I would love you to go over to that, give it a like, even drop a comment on one of the reviews if you fancy it because I will be doing this year some giveaways and they won't be small prizes. They will be vacuum cleaners. They will include postage uh, within the UK, unfortunately. Um, but I will be doing some giveaways of some really nice machines. And if you've noticed on my videos recently that there are now ads on them from AdSense, all that money will be going towards the giveaways, towards the machines I'm going to be reviewing, hopefully a couple of reviews a month. So please do watch the videos, give that page a like and thank you very much for watching this video today and have a fantastic week. See you later.